Welcome. What you're looking at is my Jim Window Manager desktop, or JWM, being used with the Rox Filer pin board. Here I will show you how to easy it is to create a icon for your desktop and how and how this powerful light piece of software can do a lot of amazing things. And then later on I will show you how to edit and modify the Gems Window Manager, which is another lightweight um, piece of software that will operate in weak computers such as the Raspberry Pi. The Rocks Filer File Manager is a drop and drag system, which I will demonstrate right now. Let's click on Home. All right, I can click on it again and open up Home once again. This is my home directory. Just for demonstration purposes, let's open up this folder document. It's empty, but I have a text file down here called Add. Uh, it's as matter of as I can just left click, drag it, and it will give me a choice. I can copy it, I can move it, I can put a link relative or a link absolute. Let's just copy it there. That's simple. I moved it. Uh, if I want to delete it, I don't really want that there. Let's delete that. And it's gone simple enough for drop and drag and you can do it with entire folders what if I want it to let's just open this up what if I want it to move this particular picture file to uh, the other folder oh I could move it completely move or I can drag it back or I can drag it back move it back where I had it in addition, I made a collection of desktop icons. Vunior is a lightweight, um, and by the way, this system works the same on the Raspberry Pi. This is um, Debian 32-bit. This is regular Debian Wheezy. Uh, you can also drop and drag to your programs on the desktop. Let's drop this picture. Well, by the way, let's look in this folder real quick. You'll see the little I here. I'm in my home folder. Anytime you want to go to your home folder, click the little house. There. You can move up into the rest of it. You can always go home. You can left click and guess what? All of your hidden piles, files appear. Left click again and they're gone. If you right click, this generates icons. In addition, I've made a number of applications here on the desktop just that I can drag and drop and drag my files to. Okay, I want to see this. Uh, this is an image. I drag it to Vunior, drop it. There it is. Open automatically. Um, let's see. Beaver is my text editor that I know. It's my lightweight text editor that I always use. Uh, got a text file. Drag it to Beaver. There's my text file. Opens up just like that. And you notice there's no hesitation or dragging around. The next part I'll show you is how to create your own icons. Now we're going to look at... Um, creating our own desktop icons with the Rocks Filer pin board. And remember the Rocks Filer pin board and Rocks Filer itself are fairly well integrated. They're lightweight and they're fast and let's see what we can do now. I'm going to go to my home folder. I'm going to go ahead and move up. And just for argument's sake we're going to go here to user. Just one single left click and there you are in bin. These are a number of little programs that stay in there. If you notice, there's a Z mixer up there. It's the same Z mixer as here. And this is how it works. Retroval, if you click it down here in the folder, there's Retroval. It is one of these little tray volume controls. But I've dragged a copy of it out here. Uh, you click on it out here, it executes just the same as it does in the folder. Let's exit that. 
but I want a nice looking look. I want a nice desktop icon. The little gear, yeah, it works, but it don't look as nice, does it? So down in user local, I copied a collection of uh, various icons that I normally use for a lot of stuff. And you can copy your own. I'm going to right click and produce myself icons. This is just a smaller set. I have a much larger set. I'm going to go over here to the little gear retroval on the desktop. I'm going to right click. I'm going to move up the file retroval and move down to set icon. Opens a little window. Uh, what's to go with a volume control? Let's just drop this little speaker in there and that is all there is to it you have just created your own desk your desktop icons very simple okay and like I noted before when I do desktop icons that are actually dragged from the actual executable file as I said before, in those cases, if it's something like a text editor, or let's just take Idle up here. Idle, of course, any of you that's been doing any Python programming is, the, uh, is for programming Python. If you look here, I can click on the little R to Z and change the way the folder is arranged. I have a folder down here, Parallel that has a number of Python files. Move this around. Alright. I can drop and drag uh, any of these Python programs. I can drop it directly to idle. There is your run and here is your complete program ready to uh, be modified and run you can run it from here just like you do idle so any um, icon program that you can find where the executable is you can drop and drag it to the uh, desktop uh, and then you can drop and drag whatever you want onto it next we'll look at generating your own commands with a text file. All right, let's continue our tour of the rocks file on the desktop and the rocks file or pin board. I've already opened my home folder here. Let's just make a uh, let's make a new folder. Right click on the white space, you will see new. You got a choice between directory, blank file or customized menu. I'm going to make a directory and I'm going to name that directory. Let's just call it temp. Click on the folder temp and it opens the folder, which of course is going to be em excuse me, empty. Now we're going to create our own little executable file right in temp. Right click now here comes your menu up. You're going to go down here to Window. No, you're going to go down here to New. You want a blank file. And just for argument's sake, I'm going to call it Beaver. Okay, it's a blank file. Nothing's in it. I right-click on it. Now one thing we're going to do here, whatever file you got, you can right click on it and you can specify what will uh, open the file. You go down here to run action. Well it already has Beaver. That's the text editor that I used. I, you just type it in there just like you see. Use command. And if I just click on it now, there it is. It just opened it up into Beaver nothing there. Yeah. File Beaver opened by text uh, editor Beaver. But anyway, I'm just going anything that you can type on a terminal. Let's just go here to the terminal. If I type Beaver, I open Beaver just like that. 
Now let's close out the terminal. Now if I type beaver in here, just like I did on the terminal, and hit enter, it's not going to do nothing yet, is it? But I'm going to save it. Okay, so now I've got a little text file called beaver, and it has the command beaver with where you hit enter. It's not going to do much right now. There's two what I have to make this an executable file. All right, let's make it executable. There's a couple of ways. We can go down here to Window. I can go down here to Terminal. Let's do LS and that it'll open a terminal in that folder. Just do LS, see what's in the folder. The only thing should be here is Beaver. We'll do a CH mod plus X Beaver. Make sure you have the capital B. Linux is case sensitive. Hit enter. Okay. Doesn't do much. But you notice that uh, Beaver looks a little Beaver looks different, doesn't it? The uh, thumbnail is completely different. And there's a reason for this. I made it um, executable. When I click on it, I will open up the Beaver text editor the very same way that I did when I uh, typed it in in the terminal and hit enter. So it will uh, exa it will um, execute my terminal command just like that. If I want to drag it out here on my desktop, okay. Um, there it is. If I click it on the desktop, it still opens the uh, Beaver uh, te Beaver text editor. Let's add an uh, icon to it. Let's go to my icon collection down in user. User, local. Let's go with this particular set of icons. Let's blow them up a bit. Right click the eye to get some. And I'm going to choose something out of there just to. Uh, okay, go back over here to the beaver that I need to create an icon for. Right click. Go up to File Beaver, down to Set Icon. There's a box that pops open. I'm going to use this little thing here. And there's the icon. I used it instead of the smiley little beaver. All right. Anytime you're here and you click your home little home up here, you're back in your home folder. Now, let's note some differences here. This is the beaver that was created like the Retroval earlier by dragging the executable out here and adding an icon to it. This was done with a small command uh, typing into a text file that I made executable. Let's take this text file adds.txt. Drag it to beaver. It will open it just like that. But if you're doing the text file one there, and I drag to it. It will open Beaver, but it will not open the file. That's the difference between creating the icon out of the uh, ex uh, out of the actual executable, like I did earlier with Retroval, versus doing a little text file, like I did there. What good is that if I can't drop and drag? Well, I can always just open it. It's quicker then going down here through the whole system for instance if you made a, cute, a little cute little program somewhere it's easier than going in and editing the window manager uh, files uh, but okay you'll see one here called reboot if I go to for instance the terminal and type sudo reboot I'll reboot the computer Okay. Um, commands like that, commands that I just want to use from the terminal that I use quite a lot. And let's get rid of this here. I don't need it. You right click, remove item. It's gone. Let's drag our little beaver back in his home. All right. If you go in here, what it, where is reboot? Well, it's one of those little files that I made in bin. 
there is reboot I added that icon to it if I right click on it I could still open it at text and what is it sudo reboot it's it will do the same thing as if I was at the terminal so you want these kinds of files if you want to um, if you want to just click on an icon to execute a terminal command you would want this type here where you drag the actual executable onto the de desktop and add it an icon if you want to use drop and drag programs once again to demonstrate a drop and drag program view Neor. this is uh, dragged from the actual executable right click and I can create some thumbnails drag an image to Vunior it opens it up automatically just like that alright I hope this was useful for you we'll be looking at some more ways to get creative with Linux thanks for listening